Those who know him say he's hinted at it before, but tonight a growing number of voices say Boston Police Commissioner William Gross is pondering a run for mayor now that Marty Walsh is likely joining the Biden administration. Here's WBZ's Tiffany Chan. The race to replace Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is becoming even more crowded as a familiar face is rumored to be throwing his hat in the ring. Sources tell the I-Team Boston Police Commissioner William Gross is strongly considering running for mayor, a move he's been quietly discussing with family, community leaders, and close confidants. I've seen him as police commissioner, and I've talked to him okay, numerous times. Former Boston Mayor Ray Flynn says coming from a decade of experience, if Gross chooses to run, he's off to a good start. I see the way he interacts with people of all backgrounds, of all races, of all party affiliations. And that's what we need. Gross has been with the BPD for more than 30 years, becoming the city's first black police commissioner in 2018. He's got an uphill battle. As law enforcement, we serve the people. After a summer of violent protests and the national debate around police reform, WBZ political analyst John Jamie, Keller says if the rumors are true, over. he's surprised by Gross's timing. I can't imagine a worse time for a, a police commissioner who's known, well, widely liked and respected, but known as a cop's cop more than as a reformer uh, to jump into a race in a progressive city like Boston. The seat opened up after Mayor Marty Walsh accepted the nomination as Joe Biden's labor secretary. Boston City Councilors Michelle Wu and Andrea Campbell have announced their candidacy and more are expected to emerge in the coming weeks. All of a sudden, it looks like we have a race shaping up that's going to be heavily populated with candidates of color, and that's a good thing. Our friends over at the State House News Service say North End Democrat Aaron Mikowitz is also considering a mayoral run. From Boston City Hall, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.